Hello everyone. Um, today I am going to show you a little bit of my creation for this week. Um, this week I created a simple calculator here. So um, to get started, I'm going to talk through my code a little bit and then I'll show you um, how it works. And um, yeah. So in here, the first thing that we have to do is we have to import, import something called TK Enter. TK Enter features all of our different modules that have been um, created, um, as well as this piece here, we are declaring our expression. And so you'll see kind of throughout that we use that quite often. So that expression piece. The next um, part here is um, declaring our functions. So we are pressing numbers. Um, this is equal press. That happens when we press our equals button and then our clear when we press the clear button. So working our way down here, this is where um, our window that we built, this is how that is all created. So this first piece, this creates our window. Um, then we configure our window to have a blue background. So if I run that code right now, it's going to have a blue background. Maybe I want it to have a purple background so I can go purple. And then if I run that code again, it's going to have a purple background. Um, our title, simple calculator up at the top, our string variable. So whatever I type in here is going to change it to a string value. And so what that is, um, it's text that we can adapt. Um, and it's easier to use than numbers um, uh, because they have different functions. Okay, and I know that's confusing, but that's okay. The next piece is our expression field. So this is the expression field, and as you can see in here, um, it's an entry field. Um, and so that means that I can enter text in here. So the equation set, enter your expression, if I press clear, it's going to take it away because this is what the clear button does. Is it sets the um, it sets it to zero. There's nothing between my quotation marks. Looking down here, so these are my buttons. So the buttons, um, and I know it's a button because I have declared it in here. So I could change this to whatever. This is just kind of the name that I refer to it as. So it's button one and button one is a button and button one appears in row two and column zero. So believe it or not, coding is a little bit confusing because everything when we start with rows and columns, it all starts in zero. So the very first spot in the top left corner would be zero zero. If I look in here, this is row two, column zero. So one, two, column zero, or zero, one, two, column zero. Um, and so that's a little bit tricky and was kind of a learning curve for me trying to figure out where all these buttons go. But once you figure out the pattern, it's not too bad. So I, I have done that for all of my buttons and same with the plus button, the minus button, and the multiply and divide. They all um, go back up to this function and they all execute this piece because of this here. So the command is press one. So it presses one, it looks up here, so and then it puts in um, this piece. The next part here is the equals button. The equals button is the one that calculates. So if I do one times nine equals, that's what solves it. So if I go back up here, the equal press will um, get the total. So it'll take, it'll evaluate the expression and then it'll change it to a string value. And then it'll set um, the, it'll take that total and I'll put it into the expression. But it also, if you do something wrong, so if I press nine or eight equals equals, so I press equals twice, it will come back as an error message. And that's why um, 
this is it'll always try to solve it first but if it doesn't end up working it will come back as an error message um, and the next piece is the clear button and so the clear will always go back to set that expression as blank So that is my very simple calculator. What I found really interesting is it will actually solve for um, negative values as well. So if I do negative 9 plus um, negative 6 equals, it'll, it'll solve for that. Um, so there's a couple tips and tricks. One thing that maybe in the future what I would like to do is to make it more so even like a scientific calculator, have things like brackets um, or maybe even look at um, like decimal points or things like that and see how that um, would be an addition. I think that would be my next step here. So I hope you liked my video and uh, thanks for watching.